What's up, everybody? I'm Justin Maycat here with my sister, Melissa McCat. Hey, hey, everybody. And we are Room 51, where we talk all things board gaming. And today we're doing a roll for thought a segment where we talk about anything and everything in the board gaming universe. And we're going to be talking about our journey to playing War of the Ring. Second edition. <laughs> Second edition. <laughs> uh, so number one, totally recommend the game, especially if you're a Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, I don't know what you're doing if you haven't yeah. played this game. <laughs> exactly. But this isn't a review video. We're going to yeah. talk about our journey from Melissa getting the game. Yeah. I think it was a present, right? It was. It was for my birthday? <laughs> Christmas? I don't know. I, I'm not sure myself, actually. But from that moment, all the way till finally getting a full playthrough in. And yeah. it kind of, and I'm, we were talking about it a bit before. I think it's going to definitely bleed into um, just trying to play massive games that have these intense rule books and everything like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm trying to think, how long ago did I get this game? I feel like it was two years ago. That was that was what my guess was going to be, if I had yeah. to take one, yeah. And Justin and I just recently played this game, I think two weeks ago, for the first time in its entirety. Yeah, it, two or three? It might have been two weeks ago. I think you I might think be right. Two, yeah. I think we played it back to back weeks. I think we I think you're right about that. We played so we played it for our first yeah. two full playthroughs of it back to back weeks two weeks ago and that was the way to do it because yes. that first playthrough was shorter than the second playthrough yes. but felt a lot longer because truly I I kind of stampeded that game a bit cuz I I was playing Sauron's army yes. and my wing condition is just a very strict military condition so if melissa playing the free people is like kind of messing up with that which on your first playthrough it's pretty easy to do yeah. uh i'm able to win kind of quickly and uh, which is a good thing i like that but yeah. we kept having a pause and go back to the rule book pause go back to the rule book pause go back to the rule book. kept happening <laughs> Right. So actually, yeah. let's start off. Yeah. Okay. The actual journey, right? So I get this game as a gift, which I was like, yes, I love it because yeah. I love Lord of the Rings. I love yeah. Lord of the Rings, right? Um, uh, Justin loves Lord of the Rings as well. Absolutely. Um, and so when I got the game, and it's a two-player game, Justin's into war games. Heck yeah. I'm into fantasy games, but I will play war games. So sure. I was thinking, this is going to be dope, okay? For me and Justin, this is going to yeah. be our game. Uh, the rule book, though, is a novel. It's literally, it's literally. a novel. It is yeah. like 100 pages long, and it's broken up into chapters. Yep. I've never seen a rule book do that before. Yeah, it's, it's pretty insane how they do it. because So it's broken up into chapters. And uh, while, so even if you somehow read through the full thing. <laughs> while, <laughs> we did not. Yeah, Spoiler alert, no we did not. <laughs> No. Yeah, we'll get I'm to that part. That. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to how we finally learn how to play the game. Uh, but while playing and sitting down to play the game, and you're like, all right, got to check the rules for this, you get to the chapter, which is now like five pages long, and it's not like you have to go through the chapter to find your one thing that you're looking for. And then got to keep doing that. I, I can't tell you how many times I've had to go to the combat section of it and go through like the full combat yes. section to find where it says what I need. Like, oh, right. Yeah. So it, it's a beast that rule. It's a beast. Yes. And both of us, both Justin and I, we have always been notorious throughout our whole lives <laughs> of not reading. Yeah. <laughs> we just assignments at school whatever it was we didn't read because i don't know we're too hyper <laughs> yeah legit i i think that in the past like five months i think i've read more in the past five months than i did the rest of my life yeah like yeah, accumulated. probably, probably. Like, <laughs> I, I got into comic books and everything that's what i read i it needs pictures baby <laughs> funny and i will say that this rule book and partially as to why it is so long because it tells you why this me this mechanism is there thematically. Yeah. 
it yeah. gives you the thematic reason as to why this exists in the game. And, and that's the thing that's so cool about the game. You're able to do everything that you feel like you should be able to do. You're at a stronghold. Why shouldn't you be able to retreat in for a siege? And why shouldn't I be able to surround you for a siege? Right. The problem is, is that that's complexity. Mm -hmm. It's a welcome complexity. Yes. But for your first playthrough, it's time. It's one of those games that you really wish you had somebody else there that knows the game. Yes. You know, like you would like now we can teach other people this game and it's going to be so much better for them. Uh, yeah, not sort not of, really yet. We're of. getting there though. We're yeah, getting we're there. getting there. We, yeah. We're still getting rules wrong, but I think yeah. with a third play, we're gonna have it down. We're gonna have it down for sure. And and so let's go into the first ever real, not not real play, the first yeah. ever play. Yeah, well, that we tried. We tried. So we we finally are like, well, let's let's sit down, and let's play this game. Uh, I don't think either of us realized just how much we're gonna have to reference that rule book. So that right, like we did not account for that. Yes. The other and, issue, and to be fair, yeah. also I just want to say, like, we game. We yeah. you know, we have played <laughs> more complex games. We've played yeah. war games, we've played Twilight Imperium, like Twilight Struggle, Twilight, Twilight Imperium. Struggle. Like we've yeah. played <laughs> complex games, Battlestar yeah. Galactica, all that stuff. Yeah. We played Battlestar Galactica before we were even gamers. Yeah. Yeah, we this game kicked yeah, our butt. That's the thing. Like we we can even though we did just kind of crap on ourselves when it comes to reading, <laughs> we usually persevere when it comes to rules. But like you said, we played yeah. BSG before we were really gamers. We'll yeah. persevere. We don't like it, but we'll do it. We'll do it. This one we really I think I think we just underestimated yes. what that book was going to do to us. Yeah, because that's that's also the main key thing. It's not so much that the game, the game is complex, yeah. but that's not the problem. The rule book is a monster. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And that it kept taking so much time while we're trying to play this game and we were like dead in nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got like interrupted for, I think it was like dinner or something. So we stopped and then it was like, well, crap, like we're busy now the rest of the night. And then the next day we have friends coming over for our boarding day. So we like move it to the coffee table, which it stayed for about two weeks. Yeah. We <laughs> never we went back to it. We finally just gave up. We were like, there's no, we just, next time let's just start from the beginning. Yeah. We live busy lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a wonder how we get anything played. Yeah. But then that, that kind of so we've never given up really on a game before. I hate doing it. I hate I starting hate doing a game that and not too. finishing it. I, I hate, hate it too. That. I'm not into that at all, but this game did it to us. If this game did it to us, well, first of all, it took us an hour to figure out how to set up the game. Mm -hmm. I also, I wound up yeah. sitting there painting the bases of the miniatures just so we knew, because I, you know, I started off this video saying, I love B um, BSG. I do love BSG. Yeah. I love Lord of the Rings. But my goodness, I don't know all the names of everything. Like, no. I am not at that level. I love yeah. Lord of the Rings, but not to the level of like, I know all these facts about whatever, you know? Same, exactly. You, you're I, lucky I'm I a remember casual fan. Frodo and Sam's name. <laughs> yeah, <right>? legit. <laughs> yeah, it, we did. So we took the, uh, that because the setup is a beast. Unless, yeah. honestly, I think what we did was one of the ways to go where you yeah. paint the bases for a marker on the bottom where they start. Yeah. So now we can just pick up, look at it. So we did have that for our second play, which yes. winds up being our first ever official, official play, play of the mm -hmm. game. Yeah. And we finally went and we were like, we gotta play this game. Let's yes. do it this Friday. Doesn't matter. Yes. And we did it. We <laughs> did it. So before anything, yeah. okay. So for our first ever play, um, I started watching some videos, but oh my gosh, those videos were so long. Yeah. They were over an hour long. They weren't entertaining all that much, except for one that was, uh, it was, he was going through the actual playthrough of the game and okay. I cannot remember his name right now. Um, but he was going through the actual playthrough of the game, but it was like, 10 episodes of like 20 minute long things and, and i watched at least like half of it oh my god 
and then I couldn't watch it anymore because like yeah. I just had other things to do yeah there's um, no way <laughs> and it was like I really and then every time I'd watch it it, it wasn't like we were playing it that day so I right. forget everything anyway so I had like some sort of you know like understanding of how the game sort of looks right but not the nitty-gritty stuff yeah. and this game's all about the nitty-gritty that that's what the game is it's you nitty-gritty know? like there's no action that's the only action that's close to as simple as it seems is the movement that, yes. that's it everything else has caveats every yes. like it has something there's it's always the caveats, something <laughs> the caveats and, and like you said we it's because there's so much detail to that you can't learn the game beforehand wait a week or two and then play it and you're good it's not one of those games you can't do it like that no. there's a lot not a lot of, no matter what there's a lot of games where even if you read the rule book beforehand a week later you're gonna have to be double checking and things like that but at least a lot of times you can skim a bit more now like mm -hmm. you you have an advantage or the ring no you don't like you just yeah. you don't you gotta do it the day of like it's yeah you do adventure. so what was funny was the it, it's very similar to the way we learned twilight imperium fourth edition yeah <laughs> the person with the best tutorial out there of ever for ti4 and he, he made it for Twilight Imperium 3rd edition as well, yeah. RTFM. Yeah. And I kept waiting, man. I was like, RTFM, please, man. Yeah. You got to make a War of the Ring tutorial. Finally, he comes out with Star Wars Rebellion. And I'm like, yeah. come on, baby. It's yeah. got to be next, right? Because you think Star... Well, anyway, for us, we always yeah. thought of War of the Ring and Star Wars Rebellion are like... I don't know. It's not so much that they're similar, but it's like... Star Wars is the two player. I mean, uh, yeah, Star Wars Rebellion is the two player version of War of the Ring for Star Wars. Wait, what? It's almost like they're in the same series to me. Yes. You yeah. Know, the, one is like for the, Star Wars, one's yeah. for Lord of the Rings. The major franchise in a box. That's what yes, War of thank the Ring you. is. Gosh. That's what Star, uh, Star Wars Rebellion is. You know, War of the Ring, yeah. War of the Rings in a box. Star Wars Rebellion, Star Wars in a box. Right. Absolutely. That yes. Now we've never actually played Star Wars Rebellion. No. I just we just know about it. We want yes. it. We, we want to play that game. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I think both of us are more into Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I know I am. I I love both, but I I, 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 would, I definitely lean towards Lord of the Rings. I I would say that as well. Even though I actually I haven't. I think it's been longer now since I've watched Lord of the Rings. I would say I'm more into Lord of the Rings. Okay. Yeah. 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 Actually, I'm I'm currently watching re rewatching Star Wars. I got I got rewatch Lord of the Rings. Yeah, me too. Anyway, so <laughs> um, anyway, so yes, but so RTFM he came out with the Star Wars Rebellion. I'm like, it's got to happen. It's gonna happen, man. And finally, yeah, he came out with it. 28 minutes of how to play War of the Ring, and I was like, Justin, we are playing this game <laughs> because RTFM made our dreams come true. Yeah. So we watched that video. I watched it about four different times. Um, I watched it once. <laughs> once speaks, and a half. He speaks so quickly. But he does. I have to say, I, I pretty much carried in the rules. 100%. <laughs> um, I hate how to play videos, but I have watched his Phil video for Twilight Imperium 4th Edition and War of the Ring. Yes. That is saying something. He makes it snappy and it's yeah. entertaining. He's fantastic. Um, but anyway, so we watched it. And then a month later, we're like, you know what? We should actually play the game. So I watched it again yeah. <laughs> the week of, and then again, the morning of, uh, on that Friday. <laughs> and we still fumbled through the rules, but we were able to actually play the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and well, the both of us, it was a struggle to get through it because of the rules. I was rewatching some parts of the video. We were looking at the rule book, but the rule book was so much better just in terms of reference. Yes, absolutely. And I will say that the reference sheet that comes in the game is pretty freaking good. It is. Like, uh, probably 90% of the things that you need, you'll get in that reference sheet. Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing. Right, exactly. Um, and at the end of the day, both of us were like, that was an experience. Yes. It was the same thing we said about Pandemic Legacy Season 1, where yes. we were like, that game was an experience. It was amazing. Same yeah. thing for War of the Ring, because Lord of the Rings just 
oozes out of that game. I was playing the fellowship. I felt it. My so you're you're playing as the characters, right? And if you're playing the fellowship side, your characters and everybody, the army and everything, when they die, they're dead. Like you can't yeah. just bring them back. Not like Sauron's army where the orcs they just keep going right, yeah. right out of their <laughs> little keep pits. Coming back. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no my characters they literally they, they actually died so i'm playing with yeah. gimli and gimli sacrificed himself so that sam and frodo could keep hold of the ring and not get corrupted and i felt that i felt gimli like his sacrifice and i was like gimli no <laughs> and i still lost but yeah. The stories that came from that was amazing. They yeah. made it to Mordor. They made it to the Mount of Doom. Yeah, no, that was awesome. It really it turned into an epic finale because I was able, like, you made it to Mordor. So I'm able to then take out the mouth of Sauron now. Mm-hmm. And it's just literally, she's trying to, like, get it to the Tract of Doom and drop that ring in. Yep. And I'm just trying now to conquer as much as possible. Yep. And hopefully... I'm able to do it before they throw it in there. Yeah. Uh, and it really turns into such a climactic moment. And yeah, like you said, it's an experience. It yeah. Is. And it's it worth great. it. It was, it was worth, worth it. those two years of it getting was. to that point. It was so yes. worth it. And it that's felt like a, a journey within a exactly. journey. Exactly. It was it was a journey. And like now I, I can tell like that's gonna be one of our games. Like that's gonna be yeah. a game. Like you said, I think we're gonna play the third time. We're going to have the rules down and it's going to be a game that we like just whip out from time to time and mm-hmm. play and like make it. And it turns, it, it doesn't become a TI4 where you need a full day to play. It's not no. as bad. Probably maybe half a day, you know, like you can't. Yeah, it's probably like half a day. And honestly, yeah. I could tell though, like when you know what you're doing, it could be just like a, a three hour game. Yeah. You know, and- yeah, that if one person is doing really well or the other person's doing crap, oh yeah, it could be a two-hour game. It could be a two-hour game, know? yes. An hour and a half even, like if one person's doing really bad, yeah, <laughs> the other yeah, person's really doing bad. really well, like the game will end. The game yes. will end it for that person. You know? That is something I like. When you're losing, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's like it if you're losing that badly, the game's done. Yeah, you know what done. I mean. Like, like you've lost. It's over. Exactly. Um, and I love. And I mean, yeah. a game like Twilight Trouble behind me. You know, it has these like, and somebody hits twenty points. That's it. They won. Don't right. don't don't play full ten yeah. rounds. You don't know, keep like, going. It, it's yeah. It's fine. It's you've over. Lost. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> like, and I I love that. I love when a long game has those kind of like, hey, one person sucking. Let's just end this. Like, <laughs> yeah. I am positive that when we do our top 51 games of all time again for this year, I guess, for 2020 yeah. at this point, um, War of the Ring will hit both of our top 51 lists for yeah. sure. I'm sure of it. I can't see it not happening. I can't see it not That's, happening either. I can't was... <laughs> see it. I can't see it not happen. Uh, I, I feel like it'll hit both of our at least top 25 even. Yeah. I think that's that's definitely a decent chance. That's I'd be a pretty prediction. surprised. Somebody write it yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for uh, this episode of Roll for Thought. Thank you so much for watching and or listening. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all at This Is Room 51. Join the conversation there. You can also check us out on Twitch call, uh, at twitch.tv slash room 51 live to watch us play board games live and our silly freaking antics yeah um but until then we will catch you next time this has been room 51